What did your dad say then? He's chuffed a bit. Oh. A bit worried about him being so poorly, but he said he's going to ask if he can visit. Well, he has a right. Charity just has to tell him that he's the dad. He said I can visit him again this afternoon. I'll take her. Oh, it'll be a long time off work. Uh, I don't know what Steph would say. Maybe Marlon. I'm <laughs> taking her. Huh? I'll, I'll just drop her off, say who the baby is, and then come back if you want. The stick insect can think what she wants. This is my grandson. Where, may I ask, is Zach? Oh, he won't be long. But where is he? Uh, well, it's hardly worth him coming in. I he's gone to take Debbie to see her mum and the new baby in hospital. He'll be here as soon as he's dropped them off. It's called compassionate leave, Steph. Leave implies permission. I didn't give permission. And anyway, I ain't let the army. Feels like it sometimes. Sorry, Sam? Uh, did it seem like, um, nothing? Uh, nothing. Permission to go to the gents, <laughs> Sergeant Major, sir. Don't push your luck, Jarvis. You'd better be back before I go to lunch. <laughs> <laughs> She gets worse. Oh, she is under a lot of pressure. Jarvis stands up to her. Yeah, well, that's all very well, but you can't afford to go losing another job. Just hope he gets back in time, that's all. Zach, what can I get for you? Oh, uh, sorry, she's getting a card. I love this one. Uh, yeah. I, know, I, I love that, that box of chocolates. And uh, that bottle of bubbly there. What are you celebrating? Congratulations on your new baby. Yeah, my little brother, that's what we're celebrating. Already? Is he all right? Of course he is. And soon Mum will be out on appeal and we'll all be together. So there. Not that it's any of your business. Come on. Emily! Um. <laughs> You'll never guess what. <laughs> You're giving up gossip for Lent? No. Nope. What then, Vic? Charity, he's had her baby. Is that the prostitute poisoner? Yes, it's very early. Must have had it in prison. Little boy. Mm. Well, that is moderately interesting, I suppose. Is the baby all right? Moderately interesting? It's very interesting. Dynamite, depending on who you are. Now, I bet Marlon would be very interested. Interesting what, then? Nothing. Oh, uh, Marlon, um, Charity's had her baby really early. I already know that. She had it yesterday. Oh, right, you never said. Well, have you been in to see him? No. Has Charity sent for you? No. Ah, well, that's very revealing. You know, that must mean... Orange juice, please. Whatever Scott's having. Why are you all looking at me? You don't know, do you? What don't I know? Uh, 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 Charity's had a baby. What? You all right? Little boy, he must have been very premature. Are you? Yes, I'm fine. Don't know why I'm surprised, really. It's what dogs on heat do eventually, isn't it? They breed. He told me he's doing much better. Yeah. You all right, love? You look a lot better, too. Yeah, I'm on the way. Can we call him Daniel? No. I haven't, I haven't even thought about names, Debbie. I always wanted a brother or sister, ever since I was little. Pat always used to say it'd have to be an immaculate conception. Mum, they will let you out, won't they, after this appeal? I hope so, love. I don't know. Will they let you look after me in prison? Debbie, I've only just given birth. But will they? Well, look, he's in an incubator. Yeah, but he's not going to be forever, is he? No. I could always look after him until you get out. I know. What? What about Jacob? No. Why not? Because I don't like it. Well, did you like Daniel? No. Then what do you like? Nothing, right? I don't like anything at the moment, or anyone. I just... I just want some peace, Debbie. Right, so you're saying you don't like the oh, baby, Oh, for then. God's sake, will you shut up going on about this blasted baby? Settle down now. Of course I like him. But to be honest, 
Debbie, listen to me, even if he does survive. And at the moment, that is a very big if. I'm only going to have him adopted. Debbie, surely you can see I can't bring a baby up in prison. Yeah, well, me and Dad can. Anyway, you're getting out. We don't know that, though, do we? You said you were before. You change your story all the time to what suits you. Just lie and lie and lie. The truth is, you don't want to keep it. Debbie, him. it wouldn't be fair, would it? You mean you're too selfish? I don't want you saddled with a baby at 14. Not like you were. Yeah. You're all right like I was. I'm funny. No, Debbie, no! You said it now. You didn't want me and you don't want him either. <gasps> Debbie, just... <sighs> don't oh, me! me. Oh, 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 Shut up! up. Answer that, Shelley. You, you're fired. Well, then don't get your knickers in a twist. I'm not fired. I'm walking and glad to be out of it. Zach? Hmm? For you. Huh? Hello? Uh, look, calm down, love. I can't tell what you say. Huh? She's what? No, no, I'm on my way. I'm going back to the hospital. Debbie's in trouble. You're going nowhere. You are staying here and you are working your notice. No, I'm not. Oh, yes, you are. Now, you listen to me, you old windbag. My family come first before everything. You understand? Everything. And right now, young Debbie needs me. And by the sound of it, so does Charity. What is it, Zatlo? No, no, it's all right, love. Nothing I can't handle. Charity's, uh, well, she's gone daft and it's upsetting Debbie. I'll go and get it sorted, and I'll see you at home later. I'm going now. I hate you. I don't believe you've ever really loved me. That is not true, Debbie. I love you, you know I do. And I don't think you care if this baby dies or it doesn't. What is all this I've been hearing from Debbie? Huh? No wonder you didn't want Kane to see him. I didn't see much point. No, you're just too scared he was going to try and stop you. Well, he can't... He can't stop me, Debbie! Yeah, well, we'll see what Kane has to say about that. Look... You're probably just tired. You've been through a lot lately, I know that. Bit unhinged. Huh? You'll think differently. No, I won't, and I am not unhinged, Zach! I know what I'm doing, and I'm going to have him adopted, right? No, you are not! This is Kane's lad, my grandson! Hey! You want to think about that tonight, Charity? And when I visit tomorrow, you better have changed your mind, because I don't want to hear another word about adoption!